Hi everybody, today we want to have a look at diphthongs. Let's start with a definition. What are diphthongs? Now diphthongs are double vowel sounds, or sometimes simply called double sounds. And that really means they are a combination of two vowel sounds that are next to one another, and that usually means within a word. Now, although they are two vowel sounds put together, they are still classified as one phoneme. And this is something important to remember. Now, um, here is a bit more of a specific definition. This is important for those of you who are studying English phonology. So um, we could also say that a diphthong is a vowel sound with two different targets. Now, what does that really mean? Because targets, that's a little bit technical here. Now, with two different targets really means that the articulators move from one sound to the next because they are two vowel sounds that make up this diphthong. And so, therefore, we have movement from one sound to the next. And that is um, why we also sometimes call them gliding vowels. So if you ever hear that expression, that is also usually referring to a diphthong. So I've given you an example here, ear. So we have two vowels, e and e, our schwa, our central vowel sound. And together they form the diphthong ear. Ear. And if you say it and you're a little bit more aware of your articulators, you can really feel the movement. Ear. Now, what does that actually look like on the vowel chart? So let's have a look at the vowel chart. If this is something new to you and you don't really know what that little funny trapezium is all about, watch my other video on the vowel chart. I'm going to link to it in this video. Now, on this vowel chart, you can see all the different vowel sounds of English. And I'm just going to show you where e and e are and how we form the diphthong. So I've put a little asterisk next to these because there's so many, so you can find them easier. So we've got the short vowel sound e, and then we also have our central vowel sound e, schwa. So now we're going to move from e to e to form our diphthong ear. And I've highlighted this here with an error. So there's movement from e to e, and we're going to just link them together. Ear, ear. And there we go. This is our vowel sound ear. Ear as in here. I'm here in this room talking to you. Let's have a look at all of the common diphthongs that we have in English. Now, there isn't necessarily total agreement. Um, some books might say they are 10, some might say they're 9, but commonly, most books will probably tell you that there are 8 commonly used diphthongs in English. And so those are the ones that I'm going to introduce here in this video. And I've given you the phonemic transcript um, to illustrate them. So we've got eight diphthongs all together. So every time we write them, um, they will be put together, okay, and they really form one new sound. So we've got, are you ready for those? I'm going to say them out loud and I'm going to go through the rows, okay? So here's the first row. A, O, Oi, Ear, and the second row. I, ow, ear, or. Now, I know they are only eight, but still this is quite a lot and it might be a little bit difficult for some of you to remember them. So I thought of a little story to help you learn those. So let's have a look at my pictures here for my little story to help you learn the diphthongs. So we've got on the left a picture of two cowboys. I hope you like the image that I selected. They look very, very tough, these two guys on their horses. So two cowboys, 
Then in the middle, we have our little sheriff and he holds up a sign that says stop. He's obviously talking to the cowboys. And then on the um, right hand side, you've got an image of a town looks like in the Wild West uh, with lots and lots of people in the middle on the street here. Our case is very busy and I think the sheriff is, sheriff is trying to tell the two cowboys that they cannot just gallop through the street because there are too many tourists looking at the town and just walking around. So how does that link in with our diphthongs? So let's just quickly recap. So we've got cowboys, we've got a sheriff telling them, stop, you can't go here. And then we have a lot of tourists on the street. So we can make up a tiny little story consisting of two sentences. And the two sentences are, no highway here, cowboys. They're tourists. So this is what the sheriff is saying. No highway here, cowboys. They're tourists. Now, and um, the good thing is that in this little mini story, these two sentences, we have all our eight diphthongs. And apart from the last word, they're actually in each syllable. So let's quickly go over them. And I'm going to put the diphthong um, transcript above the syllable so you can see that. So have a look here. No, this is the diphthong O. Highway, we've got I in high and A in way. So no, O, high, I, way, A. And then here is ear, the diphthong that we had first. Cowboys, we've got ow in cow and oi in boys. And then there, air, there, tourists, or So, o, i, a, e, ow, oi, no highway here, cowboys, e, or they're tourists. And the only syllable that does not contain a diphthong in this little um, story is the last syllable in tourists, is, there is no diphthong here, there's just a short s sound. But I hope this little story will help you to remember the eight diph diphthongs in English. Now remember to check out another pronunciation video. There are many on my channel teaching you all about English pronunciation. <laughs>